Hey guys, this is Hydra from x -Tricks, back with another weekly video. And before we start off with the weekly analysis, I want to go over a very important topic about how to find the next true market leaders for 2024, right? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so if you've studied charts for a long period of time now, you would know that um, the big leaders tend to make big moves, consolidate for a while, and then make bigger moves, right? So the strong stocks always tend to go higher and the weaker stocks always tend to go lower, right? SMCI is a great example of this. The stock had a really, really nice run before. It was $34 and then it went all the way up to uh, 353 in a relatively short period of time. And then it consolidated here for almost six months and now it had another very, very strong breakout with huge volume, right? So this is what leading stocks do. They make big moves, they consolidate for a while, and then they continue to make the next leg up. And then uh, <clears throat> the stocks that are weak, for example, Tesla, stocks that are weak tend to get weaker and weaker, right? Tesla has been weak um, for the last, uh, in 2023, has been relatively weak after that strong bounce in the beginning of the year. Then it's been relatively weak all year long, right? And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, weaker stocks tend to get weaker, right? And Tesla is a great example. It's just been slowly um, grinding down every single week. Um, but, yeah, so... <clears throat> to spot these next big leaders, you don't want to be buying SMCI right now, right? The stock is way too extended, but the best opportunity that the leaders give you is when this, when these stocks pull back to the 10 day or 10 weekly moving average. Um, so in, in my chart, this is this red line here. So when stocks move uh, on the weekly chart, when stocks come back down to this 10 day weekly moving average, then that is usually a good opportunity to buy uh, for <clears throat> the next couple of months, right? Because the leading stocks always tend to go higher. Not not always, but the probability is very high, right? And uh, SMCI is definitely one of those stocks that you want to be watching out for. If this one pulls back to its 10-day weekly moving average, this could be a, a good buy the dip play. Same thing with all the chip stocks. So NVIDIA is another one that you want to be watching out for. AMD is another one. AMD is already pretty close, so this one's actually viable around that 183 level, potentially. And then Broadcom's another very strong one, right? I think uh, these semiconductor names are going to lead the next, or they already have been leading, but I think they're going to go much, much higher because um, for AI to happen, we definitely need these chip stocks, right? So a lot of demand is come, going into these chip stocks, and I think there's a very good chance that these stocks can go a lot, lot higher, right? ARM is another one. So semiconductors are definitely one of the strongest team themes in the market right now. And I think it could be <clears throat> a much stronger team. It could be a much stronger industry moving forward. So these are definitely some stocks that I'm looking at. And uh, besides that, crypto is another team uh, theme that you definitely want to watch. Monster is another one. Uh, this one's way, way too extended, but it pulls back to its 10-day weekly moving average it could be a good buy the dip uh, coins another one right coins also extended but yeah these are definitely names that you want to watch if they pull back to their 10-day weekly moving average but yeah uh, that's how you could find the next true market leaders and uh, i don't think this bull market is over i think short term we are bearish just because market is a little bit extended and the indices look like they want to go a bit lower but overall i think when these leaders pull back to their 10 day or 10 weekly moving average i think it could be a very good buying opportunity and i think that's how you can easily double your money if you're invested in these stocks um for the next year right as always there's no guarantee right you always have to manage your risk and act um according to the new information that the market gives us right uh, my opinion can change very quickly, so you always have to take it day by day, and you have to react accordingly to what the market gives us. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that concept, and we'll continue with the uh, uh, weekly analysis. And uh, if you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one mentoring, feel free to DM me on Discord. But yeah, let's get started with the indices as usual. We'll start off with SPY and QQQ. So SPY looks like it's finally breaking its... Uh, it's finally breaking its uptrend here. Um, it's been holding this uptrend since the beginning of the year, and they finally broke that on Friday, so not a great sign. Um, and I think it could potentially see that 
500, 502 level as a key support level. So I think there's a good chance that we could pull back lower. Um, same thing for QQQ. QQQ also breaking its uh, uptrend from the beginning of the year and also broke on Friday. And uh, it's currently testing that 434 support level. And that's also the gap up level. So if it loses that 434, I think there's a good chance that we could pull back all the way down to 426, which would be um, the gap fill level, right? And also one thing to notice for QQQ and SPY, the volume did pick up on Friday. So that's not a great sign. Um, SPY, you can see it more clear. Uh, so the last two days, more volume <clears throat> on the downside. So it's not a great sign for the markets, but we'll see what happens. As always, we have to take it day by day, right? Um, but right now, I think there's a good chance that we will pull back more. Um, but yeah, let's, let's move on to the big cap tech names. Start off with Apple. So Apple looks like, uh, let's go to the weekly chart. So Apple put in that inside bar on the weekly, and I think if it loses that 170 level again, I think there's a good chance that we could pull back all the way down to that 167-ish level. So I would say Apple definitely looks a little bit bearish to me. Um, but yeah. Next up, let's take a look at Google. So Google actually had a very nice breakout this week. Uh, really nice move off these lows, and it's breaking its downtrend now and uh, starting to form a little flag here. But overall, Google looks really healthy to me. Um, and I think, yeah, I think it has potential to make a run higher. Um, but yeah, Google overall looks pretty solid to me, forming a good cup and handle on the weekly chart. Next up, Meta. So Meta pulled back a bit this week, but nothing to be concerned about. I think it's just gonna retest that 470 level, if anything, but overall Meta is a very strong name. And uh, yeah, I think it's acting fine. I think it's just some, some short-term turbulence, but overall, Meta is a very, very strong name. But yeah, for that 470 level would be the target. Microsoft had a very strong week until Friday. I had a very strong breakout, and then it ended up failing. Uh, or it, it ended up being a failed breakout on Friday when it took out Thursday's lows. So not the best sign, but overall, Microsoft is still holding up really, really well. Um, and I think it's the only big cap name to make new um, all-time highs this week. So Microsoft's definitely very, very strong. Next up, Netflix. Netflix almost did make new highs, uh, new 52-week highs, not new all-time highs. But uh, Netflix looks pretty good here. It's just consolidating. Uh, so yeah, bullish over 622 under 591 it's that simple for Netflix um, Nvidia is actually forming a bull flag so Nvidia still looks pretty good here I think if it breaks that 900 level it could be a buy again um, but yeah Nvidia has been acting incredibly strong but yeah if we do end up failing and we lose 862 then I think there's a chance that we could uh, gap fill all the way down to 824 but Nvidia is definitely one of the strongest stocks in the market right now and last but not least, let's take a look at Tesla. Tesla's just been getting killed. Um, had a big move down here, formed a nice bear flag, and then it followed through. Um, or the bear flag did follow through. So, yeah, 159 as a key support level. So we'll see if Tesla can bounce off there. But overall, Tesla looks really, really weak. And I think if we lose that 159 level, then we could potentially see move all the way down to the hundreds again. But... Yeah, Tesla is very, very weak. Um, and let's also take a look at ARKK, see how growth stocks are doing. So growth names are still uh, stuck in this consolidation. Um, so they're like in between this range right now. $52 and 48 is the support. So if we break in either direction, then I'll lean in that direction, right? So if we break 52, then I'll be bullish. Otherwise, if we lose 48, then I'll be bearish. But yeah, that's pretty much it for ARKK. Um, let's take a look at AMD as well. So AMD, I think it's a good potential dip buy around that 183 level. And it did get a nice, nice bounce off it on Friday, so that's good. But overall, um, AMD, it did pull back in pretty strong um, this week. But overall, this stock is very, very strong. So uh, I would say... I would say 183 would still be 
good by the dip area or by the dip level but yeah i think amd is still acting well here arm arm um the stock is just stuck in between chop right now so bullish over 136 and bearish under 117 until then it's just stuck in chop for now uh broadcom is pulling back in uh yeah, pulled back in pretty hard after this earnings bar. And uh, yeah, overall, it looks fine. Nothing to be too concerned about. Um, it is breaking its, uh, yeah, it is testing its uptrend, or, yeah, uptrend. It looks like it's breaking for now. But um, yeah, it did gap fill, so I think we could potentially see a bounce here, maybe. But uh, yeah, it is at its uh, support level now. So we'll see what happens with Broadcom. This is another very, very strong stock. Uh, coin. Coin did pull back in this week. Um, so yeah, I think <clears throat> 216 would be the key support level. And if we lose 216, then we can go for the gap fill and pull back to 207. But overall, Coin is very, very strong. Um, yeah, all the crypto names are very strong. Um, Carvana looks like a really good setup for next week. It's tightening up really nice here. And uh, yeah, if we take out that 82 level, this could be a really good breakout play. So this is another top watch for next week for sure. Hems, the stock has been acting really well recently. Had a huge earnings gap up from the flag here and then broke out from the another flag and broke out and now it's forming another flag here again. Um, but yeah, the stock is very, very strong and Definitely on the top of my watch list. JMIA. This is more of a speculative name, speculative name, but this one's also forming a really nice flag here, and definitely one that you want to keep an eye on. Looks good if it can break that like 7.2-ish level. Um, next up, let's take a look at MicroStrategy. The stock has been insanely strong. It pretty much doubled, uh, actually tripled in a very short period of time, right? Um, did form a nice flag setup here and it's forming another flag setup here, but uh, this one's definitely way too extended so I wouldn't touch it here, but very, very strong name and you definitely want to pay attention to it. Um, ONON, this one had a bad earnings report, but it recovered very, very quickly. So that's showing that institutions bought that dip very quickly. And this one looks good on the weekly chart. It's forming a nice uh, bull flag. So really nice volume so overall this one looks really really good um but yeah pay this one i really like because of the volume <clears throat> had a very nice uh had a strong earnings gap up formed the flag broke out and now it's forming another flag so this is another really good setup for next week definitely keeping it high up on the watch list and last but not least smci smci looks like it's consolidating potentially forming a bull flag here um, I don't like that volume on Friday, uh, <clears throat> not a great sign, but if we lose this trend line, then it's a potential we could get fill all the way down to 932 again, but overall, very, very strong stock and one of the leaders for 2024. But yeah, that's all I have for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in and I hope you guys have a great weekend. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with a trading mentor today, completely free of charge.